relationship advice from your parents, your friends, random people on the internet, but I bet you never thought it would come from your math professor. Let's explore a relationship with math, and I'll share with you three lessons we learn along the way. Now, what better way to explore a relationship than with the well-known and tragic love story of Romeo and Juliet? I wonder what these star-crossed lovers would have done differently had they had a better math teacher. This comes to us as an example from Strogatz's text on dynamical systems. Now, we'll use dynamical systems and differential equations as the tools to talk about this problem. A differential equation is a mathematical statement that tells us something about a quantity, say x, over time. And it provides a rule for how x is going to change. Now, x can grow or decay depending on its rule. Dynamical systems is the qualitative analysis of these types of equations. So for our problem, we'll let R represent Romeo's feelings for Juliet and J to represent Juliet's feelings for Romeo. DR dt will tell us how Romeo's feelings change over time. And it can depend on his own feelings or Juliet's feelings. Similarly, dj dt will represent Juliet's feelings changing over time. And it can also depend on the same things. Now, when R or J are positive, that represents feelings of love. But when R and J are negative, that represents feelings of hatred. We can visualize their feelings on a plane, like this. And time moves us around the plane to tell us the story of their, their, their relationship. So what if Romeo and Juliet were really self-centered? Then Romeo's feelings would only change based on himself, and Juliet's feelings would only change based on her. This, type, this system of equations produces exponential solutions that grow exponentially. But depending on how Romeo and Je Juliet feel when they enter the relationship determines how they might react together. So perhaps Romeo and Juliet end up in some sort of eternal situation of love, hate, or they may never see eye to eye. This brings us to lesson one. Pre uh, perceived notions, uh, pre, uh, preconceived notions matter. Be optimistic. Entering your relationship with positive feelings gives the relationship the best chance for success. But what if Romeo and Juliet only thought of each other? Then this set of coupled equations produces a periodic path that goes round and round and round in feelings of love and hate and misunderstanding forever. Kind of like a never-ending rom-com. This brings us to lesson two. Listen to yourself. Taking your own feelings into account is necessary for growth and change. So Romeo and Juliet probably live somewhere in between. But depending on their personalities, they could end up in a cyclical situation of mood swings that intensify forever. I think this is what Shakespeare was going for. <laughs> or the relationship could dwindle to complete apathy. And this brings us to lesson three. Balance matters. Try not to be too needy or too greedy. So overall, we want to be optimistic, make sure you have a healthy balance of empathy, and listen to yourself. Positive first impressions can lead to positive outcomes for all time. I hope this advice serves you well in the future, and you can leave your wedding invitations in my Science Center mailbox. Thank you. <laughs>